is going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool shake edit using Filmora 13. This is so easy to create, so let's see how to create this super cool edit. Okay guys here you can see I use a 4 to 3 ratio with 60 fps, so you can use any resolution you like. And here I added some markers to match the beat on this audio layer. And also here I added a few extra markers in these places. So if you want to learn how to correctly match beats like this, you can watch this video. I simply explained everything about beat matching in that video. So you can check that after this video. So then you can see I matched my clip length to the audio beat like this. So if you need to use these clips for your edits, I put the link in the description. You can download these clips. Okay, first I like to add zoom out animation, so I select my first clip, and go to the start, then I increase the scale to something like 166, then go to the end, and I change this back to 136. Then we need to adjust the key graph, so I open the keyframe panel, and I need to adjust this graph to something like this. So I select these last keyframes, and add this ease out graph preset to this. Also you can do the same thing by right clicking on these keyframes, and select the ease out graph preset here. Now you can see it's added a little curve like this. So here's what it looks like. After that I do the same thing for my other clips like this. Okay now our zoom out animation is complete, now we need to add our shake and blur effects to this, so go to the effects tab, and select video effect. Then select this extreme effect, and I add it to the timeline like this. Then I take 6 frames long part on this layer. After that we need to adjust some settings on this effect, so go to the effects settings, and I keep the frequency value to 200, then I change the position X to 0, and position Y to 1. Then we need to add our blur effect to this, so go to the effects tab, and select blur. Then I select this directional blur, and I add it to the timeline like this. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the direction to something 208, and increase this blur length to 30. Then I need to increase little bit more this blur effect, so I take a copy of this blur effect, and place it on top of this layer like this. Then I add another copy, to seems like reduce this blur effect, after that I change this effect's blur length value to something like 15. Okay guys now our shake effect looks like this. So if you don't have this directional blur, I will show you how to create a similar effect for this. First I add this shake effect to my second clip like this. Then I add this grainy blur to the timeline. After that you can see this effect has a dot blur look, so we need to remove that look, so go to the effect settings, and I change the angle to something like 115, and also increase the smoothness. But you can see it still has a little bit dot look, so let's add another effect to this. So I select this free effect called square blur, then I add it on top of this layer like this. So you can see this effect helps to remove that dot blur look in the grainy blur effect. So then I add another copy to seems like reduce this blur effect. So you can see it gives similar results like directional blur. So you can use one of these you like. After that I added shake and blur effects to my all other clips like this. Then we need to add the CC effect to our edit, so I use simple color correction for this. So first we need to add an adjustment layer, so I add it like this. Okay then go to the effects tab, and select filters and lat. Then I select this movie 1 effect, and add it to this adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the effect opacity to something 60. 
Then I select another filter called Movie 3, and add it to this adjustment layer. Ok guys now it looks like this. Ok after that I like to add a glow effect to this, so go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select plus light, then select this plus glow edges effect, and add it to this adjustment layer. So you can see this glow effect gives a nice edge glow look to our edit. So let's adjust some settings. First go to the glow, and I change the brightness to something 70. Then go to the edge settings, and I change edge brightness to something 8. Ok now our CC part is complete, then we need to add a flicker effect to this. So first I add another adjustment layer to the timeline like this. Then go to the effects tab, and search flash black effect. And add it to this adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the frequency to something 70. So let's see how it looks. So you can see it's so much dark when it flickering. So we can reduce this dark look using this adjustment layer opacity. So I change it to something like 20. So if need to adjust this flicker effect in some parts, you can simply split your adjustment layer like this. Then you can adjust the layer opacity you like. So finally we need to add a white flashing effect to this. So go to the stock media, and I select this white solid, and add it to the timeline like this. Ok after that I increase the scale a little bit like this. Then go to the blend mode and I change the blend mode to overlay. Then I select here in the timeline, and create a keyframe on opacity, then go to the end, and I change the opacity to zero. Like this. Ok after that I add this white flashing effect to my all other clips like this. Ok guys finally I like to add this overlay to this edit. So I put the link in the description. You can download this overlay. So I change this layer blend mode to overlay. Then I increase the scale a little bit. And change the opacity to something 80. Ok guys our edit is done. Here's the result. So guys this is a quick tutorial about how to create a super cool shake edit inside of Filmora 13. It's so easy to create, and you can add text and more effects to improve your edit quality. Also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist. I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can check that after this video. So guys thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next. So let's meet up the next video, take care and peace.